Nashville is a popular city to live, work, and do business. Because of this, construction of commercial, industrial, retail, and residential spaces has increased to meet the needs of a growing city. Unfortunately, waste from these construction and demolition projects, or C&D, is often sent to landfill at high rates. In Nashville, 23% of the waste we send to landfill is construction and demolition debris. Nashville's Zero Waste Master Plan outlines how the city can reduce landfill disposal and achieve zero waste. Much of the construction and demolition material in Nashville can be readily kept out of the landfill through better design principles, material reuse, and recycling. One way Metro Nashville is helping to reduce C&D waste is by requiring Metro-owned projects to meet the U.S. Green Building Council's LEED standards for sustainability. An example of one of these projects is the new Nashville MLS Stadium. The site required demolition before the stadium could be constructed, and while most demolitions produce a lot of waste, this project was able to reuse and recycle to keep 97% of that waste material out of landfill. The Nashville Fairgrounds was a 20-acre site that was established in 1922. Uh, it consisted of, of over 18 structures totaling 324,000 square feet that was demolished and salvaged. Uh, there was site demolition and restoration. Recyclable materials on a typical job site, including the Nashville Fairgrounds, would be brick, concrete, your ferrous and non-ferrous materials, so that might include rebar as well as aluminums, copper piping, things of that nature that all can go back to reuse. So the majority of materials coming off of the fairground site was recycled locally, um, both at metal recyclers as well as at clean fill sites. Clean fill sites are the sites that accept the asphalt millings, the concrete, and the brick. Reducing construction and demolition debris is important to this project because our landfills are filling up fast and anything we can do to divert recyclable materials from the landfills is good for the environment and good for the economy as well. Recyclable materials on the demolition site were collected using the source separated method. Source separation approach, which means we separated the demolition debris on site into their various materials so that when they left the site, they could go directly to their recycling locations. After demolition, the site was ready for construction. Overall, I mean, the entire goal is to just to be as responsible and sustainable in our creation of you know, the product that we're building here. The Nashville MLS Stadium project recycles material from construction through commingled recycling or mixed recycling. This means that all material for recycling on a job site goes into the same dumpster. On this project, we're successfully able to divert all of our cardboard, masonry, wood, concrete, and metal. Combing of recycling is probably the easiest way for a construction project to manage um, the different waste streams that we are trying to divert. The project also uses unique strategies to reduce concrete waste on the job site. All concrete work requires some sort of washout on the back end. Once you're done pouring your concrete, every concrete truck that comes onto the project, when they're done pouring, they go over to these, these concrete washout stations, pour into the sleds, all the remaining um, concrete that they have in their truck, and that gets diverted 100% through their local, their local concrete plant. The Nashville MLS Stadium is just one example of how a construction and demolition project can reduce the amount of C&D debris they generate and reduce the amount of C&D materials they send to landfill. There are many more ways job sites around the city can reduce, reuse, and recycle so that less construction and demolition material is landfilled in Nashville. Check out Metro's C&D Recycling Guide for tips on reducing job site waste, a worksheet to help you plan for your project's waste stream, and a list of haulers and recyclers in Nashville for C&D material. You can find these resources and more by visiting recycle.nashville.gov. <laughs>